Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blog Daz. Office Blog Aiden. Office Blog Daz Sports Edition. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's sports for you. And you do like sports. Mm. Everything we do is all related to sport. Yeah? yeah always. So uh, do us a favour. You know what to do. Uh, Science says Justin Tucker's record will never be broken. I'm not sure who Justin Tucker is, but by the looks of this, he's, he's number nine. Kicker. The kicker. For the Baltimore Ravens. Ah, okay. All right. That's, uh, and he's, uh, I'm guessing he's a... Record, I distance. think, 66 yards. Well, this is going to be... Where he where he's looks like he's going to place that, he's on the 60-yard line. And then you've got 10 yards into the... Uh, is that right? Wait, what are you on about? He's five he's yards behind midfield. So mid 55 there, yeah. He's five yards 56. behind midfield, but then yeah. like from the end zone to the goal is 10 yards, so right? 66. 65. 65. I, thought, I thought it was 66. Right. Well, we'll find out, shall we? Yeah. Science says just in Records record. are always there to be broken, though. Exactly, eh? exactly. Someone will get it with a big, oh. big strong wing behind them. And yeah, the, yeah. And who's found to happen, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, let's go. Science says Justin Tucker's record will never be broken. Tucker's ready. There's the snap. Spot down. Kick on the way. It is up and it is off the crossbar. Off the bar. And yeah. Through. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did he this fall over in the middle? Is end? it the pinnacle of human achievement? A kicker hitting a now NFL record 66 yard yeah. field goal. Savor this moment, for it will never happen again. Well, the Lions losing in heartbreaking fashion will happen again. <laughs> to be fair, imagine losing like that. That must be the, the worst thing to a world record. <laughs> this huge boot took down a mark that stood for eight years. However, this one will stand forever. And I have math and science to back that up. All that's coming up right after this. Before we can understand how this record will not be broken, we have to break down how it was set. Justin Tucker lines up for the opportunity of a lifetime, and when the ball is snapped, he takes a tiny crow hop to help his forward momentum. He lines up on the ball perfectly. His entire momentum is going into the kick. His right leg extended to the max he slips a little bit. locked in. The ball travels 66 yards in 3.83 seconds. That's 35 miles an hour at an estimated launch angle of about 29 degrees. It hits the front of the crossbar and fortuitously continues on into NFL history. There it is. Monster Six kick. Six feet yeah. further than the previous record. Perfection that will never be replicated. Now we'll break down why all those numbers I just said are so important with a little help from a video by Mark Rober. Go, Jesus. <laughs> Let's look at the probabilities of why the record won't be broken, then we'll get into the science. Instead of looking at made field goals from the past, let's look at the longest attempts in history. Spoiler alert, they all end badly. This one to me is amazing, Sebastian Janikowski 76. attempting a 76 yarder. This one didn't even make the goal line. Oh, here's another one by former record holder Matt Prater that happens moments before Tucker broke his very own record. Real quick, can we all laugh in Jaguar right now? Here's the math. More kicks over 50 <laughs> plus yards are being made than ever before. In fact, 106 of them were hit in 2020. The problem with that, NFL kickers miss from over 50 yards, 37% of the time. Would you get on a plane that crashes that much or root for a team that only wins that much? <laughs> Sorry, Jets fans. <laughs> Last year's longest field goal, 61 yards by Jason Myers. Guess what? That was the only one hit over 60 yards. The point is coaches don't really trust their kickers over 50 yards and with good reason. And 60 yard kicks, they are rare, really rare. Only 10 were attempted last season, three of those over 65. That's only 0.33% of all 915 field goal attempts that were even tried in 2020, and not one of those over 65 hit. And as we saw earlier, the consequences of missing a field goal that long are dire. You either give up a TD or the ball in your own territory. Maybe you get lucky with a bad return. Newsflash, the field goal unit comprises fat guys who can't tackle. Yeah. That's what makes Tucker's kick so unique circumstance it happened at the end of the game while the ravens were trailing so missing it didn't matter as time would have expired anyways 
The Ravens were desperate, and only necessity would even allow a coach to try that kick. More importantly, it was Justin Tucker. Most kickers in the league don't have a career long of over 60, and few are as trusted as Legatron. You're not going to even attempt that kick with Young Wei Koo or that kicker who named himself the Money Badger. That guy kind of sucks. <laughs> so mathematically, just attempting the 66 yarder was extremely rare. Man, nothing is going to change that. Now, let's look at the physical limitations any would-be record breaker would face. Earlier, I mentioned a video by Mark Rober that was going to help us break this down. Ironically, it features the previous record holder, Matt Prater, in which they use a machine to kick field goals really far. In the vid, Prater keeps moving back further and further and actually hits a 65 yarder. It's also ironic that it was filmed in Detroit, but then they move back to a 70 yard attempt. And even with no crowd, no snap, a perfect hold, etc., he can't hit a single one of them. It appears there seems to be a physical boundary. This video by Wired, though it's about baseball, talks about the physical limitations that a baseball player has when approaching the record for fastest pitch. There are more injuries, and part of the problem is that more pitchers are throwing at top velocity and constantly throwing at top velocity, and the body can only take so much. And they conclude that it's physically impossible to throw a 110 mile an hour fastball. The same applies to kickers. There is a physical limitation to how far a kicker can kick, and it's not just striking the sweet spot on the ball nor the launch angle. Do you think things like equipment play come into play for, for kicking, like a boo that might have sort of like a... Remember they invented the Predator? Mm. So they had the Adidas Predator and they reckon you can put more whip on, on, a, on a soccer ball, you can, yeah. you can curve it more and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I think you could do so, that, but how are you going to get more power on it? That's what I'm saying though, if you get like a thicker sort of like, I mean you want to have more control. My boots that I wear for, for football are very, very thin. Mm. So I think I like to have the feel of the ball on my foot, yeah. sort of thing. So if anyone stood on your toe, you knew about it, it was like barefoot almost, yeah. but very lightweight as well. What did you think with a more heavier boot? I don't know if that would work as a, uh, I don't know, something that might assist getting an extra yard or an extra two yards. Yeah. You know, obviously weather could play a part of it. Don't yeah, the that's what, yeah, 100%. You know, anyway, if uh, yeah. weather whips up and you get a bit of a wind, I don't know if you still count them as records. But I don't know how you can say like it 100% will never be broken and the science behind it and everything when like... It's like running, the it? Like if you can, someone could, if you can hit 66, I would have imagined someone can hit 67. Yeah. Like you, you, there's no, you can't like say it's not possible. But right. when you look at running, I always think about Usain Bolt's record. What's his world record? 9.58. 9 9.58 is it? So would anyone ever beat 9.58? Mm. maybe you might have to be on drugs of some sort <laughs> you know you have to become some kind of performance enhancing drug yeah. so if that was the case would you like to see someone run 8.2 do you not reckon there should be like a just drug like gone. World, like uh, Olympics that's why I've said there should be Olympics where you can take anything you want Yeah. and just let, let them have their own little Olympics and hold it somewhere real crazy as well like Amsterdam they don't like uh, they don't know, somewhere just like Venezuela they don't like or uh, what, what's it um, Colombia yeah hold, hold it in Colombia that would be funny yeah. and everyone's just running beating world records every race yeah everything's just a world record <laughs> and it's just like you know 6.9 seconds in the 100 metres backwards that would be brilliant yeah. wouldn't it yeah. but it's, I don't know I just think that, that sometimes there's equipment the ball may change you know with um, a different type of uh, thing on the bottom you know, going forward in the future mm. I'm not talking like next season no, or the yeah, season yeah, after yeah. but I'm talking like 20 years time mm. Things may change with equipment and people may get fitter. Yeah. But not, not that they can get much fitter than what they are now. Well, you never know that. You don't, you're right. It's the ligaments in the leg. Yes, I said ligma. Need more evidence? Here's Justin Tucker himself missing a 67 yarder in the Pro Bowl. Let's go back to launch angle because this is actually really important. In Mark Rober's video, he states the ideal launch angle for a kick is 40 degrees. But by my estimation, using markers on the field as a guide, Tucker's kick goes off at around 28 to 30 degrees. That's much lower than 40, obviously, but it's a testament to how freakish this one kick is. Usually low launch angles on long attempts go into the line or get blocked, but you can see that Detroit got their hands up well to the side of the kick and wisely didn't send anyone in to try and block it. Dan Campbell was convinced, like everyone else, that there was no freaking way this kick was going through. Should've stopped that fourth and 19, Dan. And let's circle back to something crucial we saw at the beginning of the video. The kick hits the freaking crossbar. Out of all the things to go right, 
This one is the most crucial. Tucker had to extend his leg through the ball perfectly, hit the ball at the perfect place two inches above the ground, then get the launch angle just right so it didn't hit a blocker or his own line, but high enough to get there and after every obstacle in the kicker's ninja warrior course, the ball hits the front of the crossbar and bounces over. Only one part of this is repeatable, Tucker's kicking motion, but the luck part, the sheer audacity to even try the kick and then have it literally travel the minimum distance to even be a 66 yard field goal. Which if the rotation of the ball was a little bit different, it could have just bounced the other way. Could have, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. So it is quite lucky. A bit of a luck involved, yeah. yeah. And not doink a la Cody Park. <laughs> back. Well, yeah, got that it. means that what's six the, yard what's field the guy goal, on the right of the picture? And not doink a la Cody <laughs> <laughs> well, That means that the football gods absolutely love Justin Tucker <laughs> and really hate the Lions. Before we wrap it up, let me address the naysayers who are loosening up their wrists to type in the comment section. You might say one day they will attempt it in the wind or in Denver, etc. Long yeah, field goal yeah. attempts happen all the time, possibly, but indoors in a controlled environment is the ideal scenario. Adding wind, even if it's aiding the kick, could cause the ball to move left or right and more variables that might not help a kicker. But what about the fair catch kick, says the football equivalent of foolish baseball? Let me explain this weird rule to you. On a punt or a kickoff, a player can call for a fair catch and the team that catches it can attempt a field goal from the spot of that catch. Yes, this is an actual rule. Even better, that kick can come off a tee and the kicker can get a running start without a chance of it being blocked. Okay, sounds good, except these are rare. Only 26 have ever happened. The last in 2019 and Joey Sly missed a free 60 yarder. Phil Dawson tried one in 2013 from 71 and missed badly. Plus these are just like a kickoff or field goal. They can be returned, so no. Now, a real football nerd might bring up the 69-yard field goal nice in 1976 by Abilene Christian's Ove Johansson. Well, he was wind-aided, was allowed to use a kicking block, and it's rumored that the ball may have been filled with helium, as back then kickers could have their own special balls. And thanks to Tom Brady, none of those shenanigans are ever happening again. So in conclusion, appreciate Justin Tucker's magical kick had everything go right and it still barely made it through so until they allow robot kicking machines this record will stand forever sorry lions fans there's the snap spot down go, kick on the way. Go. it is up and it is off the crossbar and through oh my goodness are you kidding me well i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe and if you live yeah, interesting. Yeah, like I say especially where science is involved. Like, it's it's a very long distance to yeah, knock yeah, a field yeah. goal in. You know, especially like you say when you've got the block, everything sort of like went right from there. The blocker's arm sort of opened up a little bit, mm. went to one side of it. He got it straight down the middle. The spin of the ball took it over the bar. Do you reckon it just was the perfect kick and actually can't be broken then? Could well be. Yeah, could be. But I reckon at one point it probably. I reckon people probably said that about the last kick that wasn't broken. Well, the last kick was. How long has that been in for? Eight, it was eight years. years he said, right? Eight years was it? I thought it wasn't. I wasn't sure if it was six or eight. But uh, you know, regardless, still a long time. Yeah. You know, and how many? You were saying how many kicks have gone over sixty yards? Mm. What wasn't many last season? No. You know that they got over. So it's it's a it's a distance. Only it? one, wasn't it? Mm. Ten it's, only ten attempts. But it's a distance that people are going for, and it's you know, I don't know. Again, you could have something that's Kickers must just be thinking, if he can do it, I can do it. If he can yeah. do 66, I can mm. do the 62-yard field yeah. goal. But again, like you say, wind-assisted, weather-assisted, yeah. maybe Denver, like you say, where it's, uh, where it's a bit thinner air. Mm. So you might be able to get the distance, but be interesting to see. Let us know what you think in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.